In 2021, I altered 52 playing cards in 52 days. In planning for 2022, I thought it might be nice to go back and revisit all 52 of those cards, recreate a complete deck on a more reasonable timeline. This year, I'm going to share with you each week one of the playing cards that I did in 2021. We'll take a look at the video from the previous year, the items that I used to create the card, and completely recreate it, utilizing the techniques and the prompts that I had laid out in 2021. My name is Peg. I call my channel Two Old Crows Mixed Media. I hope you'll take a moment and subscribe to my channel. And that notification bell, of course, lets you know when I upload additional content. If you would like to catch up with me on my website, you can find me at twoocrowsmixmedia.com, my Facebook and Instagram are under the same name. Let's get started. This is a card that I created last year. To do so, I cut out the angel from a Christmas card that I had received years ago. I used pattern paper, some sandpaper, a little bit of cheesecloth, of course the playing card itself. I also incorporated in that um, purchased piece of ephemera, which in my interpretation would be that cut out from that holiday card, some gesso, and of course that black stabilo. So those were the items that I used last year. Let's create this card this year on kind of where my mind is going today. My first thought process is to create kind of a layered look on this card. And I had this piece of file folder that I cut out with a thin lit die for another project, or it was the result of cutting a hole in, in something. And I'm just going to paint that with a raw umber and set that aside. I'm laying down some white. I'm using my small gel press for my little palette here. And I'm covering up that piece of purchased ephemera. Not a big fan of purchased ephemera. I found over the course of the past year and kind of learning my own style and what I like, what I don't like. I don't really like to use it. And I've rid myself of most of it. But I've saved some shapes that I thought that I could utilize by painting them, covering them up, and kind of making them my own. So this I have coated with first a coat of white acrylic, and then I found that the gesso covered it better, so I used the white gesso to cover that up. And I want to kind of highlight the edges of it, so I will be taking the raw umber and just lightly going around the outside edge of this little butterfly. And he seems kind of boring to me. So I want to add some texture to him as well. So I'm just going to dab my white paint on him to just kind of create some peaks and valleys or some texture. So I'm just dapping very messily on top. And we'll let him dry. Now that he is dry, I pulled out the script stencil and just stenciled atop him with the raw umber. Now we'll just set, set that aside and get the card ready by gluing on this pattern paper. And to glue this on, I'm just using my mixture of glue and water, which is a handmade Mod Podge. I'll put a link to that um, recipe below. I also have a recipe for, for texture paste on that same video. Allow that to dry, cutting around the outside edges, and just kind of eyeballing where, where I want to go with my little focal point that I've created. 
And I think it needs just a little bit more in the background, pulling in the texture paste and pulling that through the stencil. And we'll let that dry. And of course, as impatient as I am, I will pull out my heat gun and see if I can speed that process up. But in the meantime, I'm going to set it aside and add some glitter to the, it's not glitter, I used an aged bronze um, spray. And I just sprayed down that raw umber disc that we had painted. And that adds just a little bit of sheen to it. And we'll set that aside. And now here comes the texture paste back in. Once again, as I said before, the impatience. I'm going to dry this with my heat gun. And you have to be very careful with these playing cards and your heat gun because playing cards will melt. Pulling the raw umber with the hotel key card through the texture paste. And just taking my little sanding block and making sure that I have all the pattern paper, all the rough edges sanded off the edge of the card. And I have pulled out a strip of the sandpaper. I'm coating that with some gesso, white gesso. Drying that real fast with the heat gun. And I am going to pull in some bronze gilding paste and go over the top of the sandpaper as well as around the outside edges of this card. And then it would be nice to incorporate the bronze that we had sprayed onto that disc, onto the sandpaper and around the edge of the card. I'm punching a hole in top, in the top of this card and in the bottom of this card. And the reason I'm doing that is just for display purposes only. I have made a decision to hang them in my studio window from top to bottom each suit. So there'll be 12, four rows of 12 cards. Are there 12 cards in the suit or 13? In any event, we are going to hang these. And there's 13 cards, I think. So we'll hang them one underneath the other. And I'll show you how I do that a little bit later. But let's put this focal point on the card first. I'm gluing down the disc. Then I will lay down a little piece of cheesecloth, the sandpaper that was painted with white gesso and rubbed with the bronze gilding paste. And now our little butterfly that was painted white with white gesso, edged with the raw umber, and stenciled with the raw umber. And there you have the card pretty much in place. And for the back of each one of these cards this year, I'm just going to put the week. This was the card last year. This is how I interpreted my own prompts from last year, this year. So which one do you like better? Do you like 2021 version or 2022 version? So that's the completed card, week one of the full deck redo in 2022. If you would like to join me, post pictures of what you create over on Instagram utilizing that hashtag, full deck redo 2022. To display them, I'm utilizing uh, copper wire, and I'm just going to show you how, how I'm going to thread that up. I'm going to cut a strand of copper wire. It looks about to be about six inches. I'm just going to twist it into um, a little circle. I've put a small little eye hook on it. 
twisted that wire around to secure that in. We'll trim that off. Get off any rough spot. Do another twist to throw the card on there. And I put a bead on before I put the card on and I'm going to space these with the paper beads that I created out of scrap paper, magazine sheets, etc. And there you can see it'll just hang. Let's screw that into the window frame. And once we start completing these cards, we'll get them all hung up and displayed. So this was week one. This was the last year's version and this year's version. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you'll join me in this challenge. And come on over to my Facebook group. Hit me on Instagram and show me what you created as well. I will link the playlist to this challenge up above and also the playlist to 2021 cards if you want to go back and revisit some of those. I really appreciate your comments. The likes do help promote my channel. And again, I really would like to thank you for being here. Bye for now.